and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Anne and I'm a full-time artist and best-selling author based in LA. I love sharing my painting process and peek into my life as an artist here. And if you're interested in that, please like, subscribe, and chat with me in the comments. For today's video, I'll be sharing my painting process as I paint a can of sardines and answering some frequently asked questions from my newsletter subscribers. I'm going to call these types of videos my tea and paint, where I spill some tea and advice on frequently asked questions while I paint. So I'm just getting back into painting after about a month off. In this video, I'm painting sardines in my sketchbook on my first day back at my desk. I've been seeing tinned fish and sardines trending for a while now on social media, so I decided to research some ways to eat sardines more in my day-to-day -day life. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. The theme for today's Q&A will be beginning. These questions and answers are for beginners of all stages. Question number one. I think I'm honestly just scared to start. I have no clue what I'm doing when it comes to art, though I desire to do it. What are some easy steps for a true beginner to do? Okay, questioner. I honestly think you get inspired by something you saw, whether it's a piece of art, a film, a song, a spot of nature, that makes you want to make it into art. So take that spark of inspiration and turn it into something. Think about what that is for you. For me, sometimes it's seeing a piece of art I love so much, I want to study it, capture it, recreate it just to feel closer to it. So find that thing for you and chase it. And here are three ideas to get started. Maybe you follow a paint along step by step on YouTube. Maybe do a master study of an art piece you like. Or maybe take a class in a new medium that interests you in Skillshare. Question number two. How did you begin learning how to paint? So I took my first real painting class as a senior in high school. There was an art teacher who lived, like her house was literally around the corner from our high school. And my friend and I would go there on Friday afternoons and we learned to oil paint, which was my first real painting class. Um, she had a studio in the back of her house, and she rescued greyhounds, so it was really cool to have these big, gentle giants around us. And what I really started to paint from was, one, I started painting from either photographs, she had like stacks of National Geographics we could leaf through, or we could bring in paintings from masters that we really liked, like Picasso, Van Gogh, Matisse, etc., and just do master copies of those paintings. And it was really low pressure. We each worked on our own pieces every afternoon for like three hours. Um, and it just gave me a real sense of accomplishment. And I learned a lot just copying these master paintings and then having some guidance from my um, painting teacher. So that's really how I learned how to start painting. And then I took a break for a long time um, when I went to college and studied something else and worked for a while before I finally came back to art and then I started taking some extension classes at a local art college. At the time like online courses like on Skillshare weren't really a big thing yet so the only way to really learn was from a class in person. Um, if I were doing it now I would definitely use YouTube tutorials, Skillshare, online learning platforms to start dipping my toes into painting. Uh, question number three. What are the best supplies for a beginner? So I get this question a lot, and I really think the best way to spend your money is to buy the best supplies that you can afford for your budget. It's better to have fewer things at a better quality than to buy more student things at a budget quality because you'll get better results and you'll be happier with your progress, and then that'll encourage you to actually keep going. Um, it's great that there are a lot of products available at all different price points for people. And again, buy whatever is the best thing you can afford. Um, but it's better to invest in a few more higher grade or designer grade, um, supplies than buy, like, spend your money on a giant, you know, kit that isn't going to give you as good results. However, if you're starting something like a new medium totally, um, say you're just playing around with learning to design and draw, or maybe you want to do some like cut paper work, you could just play around with whatever you have at the moment and then see what really draws your interest and then 
before you invest in any supplies. Really, like, play around with what you already have and see what you're interested in. Is it painting? Is it drawing? Is it collage? And then go in that direction when you're starting to invest in more professional supplies. Question number four. What's the best way for beginners to learn different mediums without having to buy so many supplies? So as general advice, I would always say start with drawing. Everything comes back to drawing and draftsmanship, um, whether you're collaging, designing, painting, um, working digitally, it all comes back to drawing. And I feel like that's the thing we avoid the most because it might be one of the hardest things. Um, I know that's that was true for me. I started with painting instead of drawing. I didn't really enjoy like uh, drawing still life object classes as much as I enjoyed painting. However, once I started taking figure drawing classes, that all changed. It was really scary for me to take a figure drawing class because drawing people was the most intimidating thing. But learning the dynamics of drawing a person, a figure, really helped me improve drawing everything else in my life. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure there's some unique magic or academic reason to why that's the case but drawing people and figure drawing is so fun to me like you really get into the flow of it five hours in a studio class seemed really long to me at first but it really just flew by and I could see myself improving each time I had a figure drawing session so really try to hone your drawing skills first because that will improve your art in all other aspects, including designing. Um, And there are plenty of painters who don't draw, of course. And if you feel called to that, then live your truth. But my advice for almost every beginner is to start with drawing to help learn from so many things. And you don't have to take a drawing, like a um, figure drawing class to start. Just draw from observation by taking your sketchbook out um, into the world or just studying whatever interests you like drawing what's on your kitchen table, what's on your desk, drawing your siblings, drawing your um, roommates, whatever you have around, just start with drawing. Um, You just learn so much about seeing and it's the foundation of everything else you want to lay visually, creatively, and everything else. And if you think you don't draw well, again, just draw from observation and you'll really learn how to see the world. And then start playing with different mediums that you have around. Um, Like if you want to do collage or cut paper, it's likely you have junk mail or some sort of scrap paper lying around and some scissors. Um, If you want to start with painting, watercolor sets are really accessible. Um, Watercolor painting is different than acrylic or gouache painting because I actually find watercolor painting very challenging because you start from light to dark and you have to plane in reverse whereas I find gouache or acrylic or oil more accessible because you can always paint over so maybe you find like a simple gouache set or a simple acrylic set to start with to see if you enjoy painting um and I would just start or maybe pastels like I would just start with a small set just to see if you enjoy it and again buy the best materials that you can afford at the time and again it's better to get a smaller set than a bigger set um quality over quantity here really matters question number five what would be a good starting point for someone who used to art regularly but hasn't in a while and wants to get back into being creative okay questioner so the first thing i would ask you is what made you want to go back to creating to begin with? Is it a feeling? Is it a sense of obligation? Is it an actual calling? Because being an artist, although I believe we are all inherently creative, is not an easy thing to do. We're literally creating things from nothing every day with our hands. And it's just, it's very hard, even though it can get dismissed as easy. Being really creative and sitting down to actually do the work is really, really hard. And so really listen to what you're being called to do. There are so many different art forms, ways to spend your time, and soothing hobbies you could pick up. So don't let this be something that's an obligation to you. 
Now, if it's something specific that made you want to come back to being creative, follow that calling. What sparked it? It's just like that first question. Like, what was the thing? Was it seeing someone else paint that inspired you? Was it seeing a movie that inspired you? Just follow that thing that inspired you. And that will kind of whisper to you what you want to do to begin with. And for me, like in painting this piece to start getting back into painting again after taking a month off, I was just like, oh, I'd really love to see what painting like sardines or fish or like just food would look like again in my gouache style. And I just really wanted to come back to that. I used to paint a lot of food illustrations. So it was something I liked to do before too, but hadn't done in a while. And it just felt really fun and right to do this again. So follow that spark, mash up the things that you're kind of interested in or seeing over and over again, and then use that as a starting point. Here are other things you could try. You could try meditation. I love the Insight app. This is not sponsored. Um, there are a lot of great free meditations on it. And just sitting in silence with your thoughts. Like artists need time to sit around and do nothing and think because that's where a lot of the ideas come from. You could journal right after you meditate and just like see what comes up that way. You could do morning pages. In fact, you could read through Julia Cameron's The Artist Way and try to do that program. Um, it's really just self-guided and a great book. In fact, I might do that again soon. And that is a great program for getting into being creative again. Thank you so much for trusting me with your questions. I hope my answers helped guide you in some direction or another. And it means a lot to me that you felt safe enough to share them with me. If you have any more questions for me or anything you'd like me to answer in a future Q&A, please feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll add it to my list. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Oh, and if you're interested in learning more about gouache painting, I have a gouache for beginners class on my Skillshare that's linked below. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.